Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Mr. Campbell from mrcampbellrocks.com. Uh, today we're gonna talk about Google Chat and the new updates as of September 2021, an integration with Gmail and Google Workspaces. Let's jump into it. So first thing is that Google Chat now has a native app that you can download on iOS or Microsoft. It's an app that just runs in the background of your computer. You can get notifications, different things like that straight to your desktop. That's what this looks like. It looks very similar to the web version, but you'll notice that I am not on, I do not have a URL or it's not connected with Chrome. So I'm gonna close out of that. Um, next, you have the standalone version, which is mail.google.com or chat.google.com. It will bring you here where you can have all of your conversations, all of your rooms, um, your bots and everything here. This is a web-based client for uh, Google Chat. Uh, it has the search option here at the top. You'll notice that I have the URL here. I have the ability to change settings and my status bar here. You'll also see that we have connections on the side panel over on the right. The newest or latest update is now integrated with Gmail. And so first you'll want to actually turn chat on. It's in the same place that Hangouts used to be. So when you go to settings, you'll jump over here and now you'll see chat and meet instead of hangouts and meet or just hangout. So you click over there and you can have the Google chat on or off. One of the things that I'm actually kind of disappointed in is that when you turn this off, the rooms and the chat don't even show up. You don't even have the option here um, to see them as opposed to having them be here but not getting the notifications and we'll, and we'll talk about that. So if I click off and then click save changes, you'll see now that I only have um, mail and meet in my Gmail integration. I still have all of my options on the right sidebar here. So I'm gonna turn, you, turn it back on and so we can get started on the tutorial with Google Chat. So we click it on, click there. And you'll notice here in my unread messages um, I have these little right arrow carrots that I can actually open up these things. I have meet here. I have rooms now that I have. I can jump into these rooms or I have individual chats with people. And you'll notice that it has their status here. So green light means go, that they're active. You can see here, set as a way, do not disturb. And you can actually change your status. We'll go into chat notifications in a few minutes. So. If I have my email box open, you can see that that actually is going to float down here below the mail option here. So when I jump into chat, it'll have my individual conversations that I've had with uh, the most recent people. When I click on those um, here, it'll pull up the win small window, very similar to the Hangouts. And this is what will pop up if you have your notifications turned on. So one of the things that I find frustrating is that if I'm working in email or I have my Gmail open, these will pop in over. Some people like that, some people don't. I normally or personally use the native Google Chat app because it just sits by itself and it runs uh, in its own window. But when you're in a conversation, uh, you could type in here, you'll click the little, you'll notice that your airplane or message, that'll send there and it's there. So you'll also notice as I'm hovering over things, I have emoticons that I can have here. I can send messages to my in -mail, uh, inbox. I can also edit this message. It'll give me the option to delete it or add something to it. Um, and then I also have the trash can. So I can trash can that message. You'll see that the other person is here typing a message, uh, typing back. That's an individual message. Now, when you jump into a room, Right, um, so we'll jump into digital questions. These are questions that our teachers have right now, um, working through a virtual school. It will actually put them in a thread. So these messages kind of are put in like a message board and different people can answer. So I obviously work in a virtual school now and so our teachers are all over the place uh, at home in our different buildings and different offices. So they're answering each other's questions here like a message board. We have the same options as we hover over messages I can edit my own messages, however I cannot edit other people's messages, but I can send them to my inbox and 
respond with emoticon. You can click there and you see all the um, emojis that pop up. The other thing that they've added here is this option for files. So any files that I wanna add to a chat, I can just go here and obviously you'll know exactly where this is gonna go. This is gonna go to your drive. It will give you the option to upload my drive, shared drives. Historically, most people are understand this at this point, but it's the integration that's important. You used to have to go find them on your computer and upload them. You couldn't just grab them. You'd have to grab the link or something. So the other new update, which is awesome, is tasks. So you can assign tasks to specific rooms. So if there's something happening in a room, um, we'll just click here. Um, please email me the Khajiit information, right? These are wireless devices that we're sending home with students that don't have internet at home. I can add the date and time. I now have the ability to assign this to an individual person when I click on add, you can see that I could actually view this in chat. So when I click on view this in chat, you'll see that I can now give this task to Brian Henson and he will get this. He's already at work today, so he'll probably respond back in a couple minutes. So this is a beautiful thing. In the individual chat messages, um, we don't have that option as of right now. Um, to to assign them specific tasks. So you'll have to go to a room to assign a task and then see that show up in that room. And so what I have done to make this easier is some of our rooms, I've created a room that just has all of my teachers in that room. So then I can at assign specific tasks for that teacher. You can also do this with students. It's a beautiful thing. If you have all your students in one chat, um, you can assign specific students responsibilities, right? Um, so that's the that's the task portion um, and the files portion of of this. You also have the option in um, chat to add specific bots depending on how your district or your entity has turned those on. Our district has turned those off. I have another video that you can go learn about bots um, and plugins that work with Google Chat, but you'll notice. Again, um, when I click do not disturb, I have the options here to change that status bar. Um, I can set as a way, um, I can add my own personal status. Let's talk about the notifications. So when I jump into notifications, you'll see here that I can open chat pop-ups for a new message. I do not want that, I do not like that. So when I click there, it will not open that. If I want to have the chat notifications just in general, whether that's audio or visual, I can change the notification sounds here, but I have to have this chat notifications turned on. So you're not going to be able to hear these notes, but um, because I have my microphone plugged in, you can change the sound of those there. You can also have receive an email if you haven't read a message at a certain time. You can block specific people or you can block specific rooms. Those are the general settings in chat. And the last option, again, when we go back to settings, we go to chat and meet, is you have the positioning of your inside um, inbox chat. So if I click it on the right side and save changes, you'll notice that it's now gonna come over here to the right hand side, it shrinks up your inbox a little bit, but then you could have your chat over here as opposed to over here. If you're like me and you have a lot of different folders and that's how you organize things, um, then you may wanna split sides. I think it just compresses my email a little bit too much. So again, to change your settings there, go to all settings. And we click on chat and meet, keep it on the left side. Um, you can also hide this in the main menu. We'll click save there, go back to my inbox, and you'll see the, here that all of my conversations come up. Anyway, um, I'd love to hear from you about Google Chat, how often you use it. Obviously, working in a virtual school, everybody is online all the time, so we have a lot of chatting going back and forth, the different messages and questions and different things. Um, but if you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator or in small business working with Google Chat, which is replacing Google Hangouts. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.